all right guys hello and what's up guys to another video so today is gonna be day two episode number two to journey to pro uh, right now uh, the plan is still the same uh, right now I'm on, I'm on the TRT phase I'm trying to get the body recover from the last prep I was in that all got messed up by the way so right now I'm gonna I'm heading to the gym I'm gonna be training legs uh, going from hamstrings to quads to to calves and basically right now uh, what's going on is that is uh, because I'm on TRT I'm still not pushing it all the way through once I'm on my full proper program I'm gonna be training uh, twice a day I'm gonna be splitting the leg workout between hamstrings and quads and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be pushing I'm gonna be separating them out and then eat each uh, muscle group I'm gonna be going like hardcore as hard as I can to get those muscles to grow so I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be going in the morning to quads and go in the evening do hamstrings and calves and that's the way it's going to be all the way through the off season that's what I'm going to be doing and then um, even even when I'm getting ready for the next show which right now uh, when I'm recording this video uh, uh, today is going is the it's basically is the it's uh, let me just check I think it's the 20th of October of 2023 so until I'm gonna be off, I'm gonna be uh, working into putting on uh, new muscle tissue all the way until May of 2024. Uh, on that day, which uh, from the May 2024, that's where my prep is gonna be starting. So from now until then, it's going to be uh, off season where I'm trying to be putting on muscle and then after that is going to be is going to be prep so right now uh, today is the 20th of october 2023 uh, i'm on i'm on the trt and right now i'm not pushing it as hard i'm just trying to maintain what i've got to just detox the detox the body and then from uh, next month november i'm going to be going on a proper uh, program to put on new muscle tissue and then other than that uh was was i was gonna say so other than that uh we're just gonna uh take it day by day make sure to enjoy the journey and then see what is it we can create okay and and let's even with bodybuilding is the, the main thing is enjoying the process of building a physique okay let's say you go on you go on and do a show and then on the show you don't get the you don't get the result you want or the placing you want you can't really get get negative about it right you you, you gotta first look at this as a you got to first be a hobby and then whether you be a you make it is going to be your job or not where competitive bodybuilding is going to be your job or not and you really don't know you just got to do it and then see see where you can go and and sometimes if really if deep down you deep down in your heart right if if you know something is for you or so you're going to make make it or get to a place at some deep down in your heart you kind of know that you meant to be doing this okay and no one else and, and no one can tell you whether you, if you can or you cannot is this is something that you know within yourself that this is for me okay and a lot of people based on their life experiences gonna come and say uh, they're gonna basically give their own opinion based on their their own life experiences and based on their own perspective okay they're gonna come and tell you uh, 
you can't do this you haven't done this you have to uh, you have to uh, not think uh, as as much as not think that you can get to a place or all of these stuff right and then what you want to do is and then you're going to have these people you're going to you're going to always have these people coming up and saying all of these things what matter is is what you believe in your heart and what you know uh, the place you can get to and no one else can tell you this uh, nobody knows if you believe in your heart that you can do something you get up and you put in the work every day and most likely you will make it okay and maybe for you who's watching this right now maybe border building is not for you it's not it's not the thing for you but maybe it's something else and then then that's it really that's it that's what i was gonna say the reason why i'm saying this is because i have this experience with somebody and they were trying to tell me uh, basically negative things and then this is just something was in my mind for I share with you is this people gonna talk based on their own opinion based on uh, their own life experiences maybe they haven't they wasn't able to do something for themselves based on based on their own life choices their own habits and they think the same things that they went through applies to you not knowing about you or what you can do so i'm going to be going to the gym right now i'm going to be uh, getting ready to to hit legs i'm going to film all the way through the leg workout and then i'm going to show you guys what i do after the workout after the, i'm going to show you some of the meals i'm going to eat uh, you can follow along all of that so the next segment of this video is going to be me in the gym uh, i'm just gonna get there and see what, how you go what happens and then i'm going to try to record as much as i can for you guys all right so thanks again for watching see you in the next segment if you're doing something that you love to do and you're doing it you're working in it or at it in love and not in vain i don't see why you can't make that work successful if you enjoy doing something and every day you enjoy chiseling away at it, working at it every single day. I don't see why you basically cannot do that thing well and get recognition for that thing. There is this impossible not to do. So let's say in bodybuilding, right? What are we trying to do? If, if you love building a physique, and if you have the awareness to chisel away at your physique in a way where you can you can build a good physique a proper physique i don't see why you cannot get recognition for that work and a lot of the people that that in this in this in this sport in this in this game of bodybuilding that don't get to where they want to get it's simply because they don't love it as much as enough to sacrifice what's needed for that work okay whether you be a top level at what you do is all down to the choice that you make are you willing to do whatever it takes for your craft as long as you're willing to do that you will make it you will become successful in that thing is this impossible not to one thing you got to keep in mind is that as long as you're respecting 
and doing what the game asks of you to do, there is no reason why you will not make it. Simple as that. And all that comes down to, do you really want it? Are you willing to put in the work? Are you coming from a place of love or a place of vanity where you're trying to prove something to someone? And it depends on these things. If you really love what you do, there's no reason why you cannot be successful at it. And if you break down success, what really is success is success is getting up every day and doing the work you love to do. Simple as that. Whether you get recognition from it or not, that comes down to many things, many variables. Sometimes it's just time. You got to allow it more time. But at the end of the day, even if even if you reach the highest success, the highest amount of recognition, and you get return on your work, let's say monetary return on your work, even when you even if you got the monetary return, you still to maintain that status, to maintain that level you got to ask do I do I, you still have to get back to work so i'll give you an example so let's say let's say in, in this in in bodybuilding let's say the highest level the highest achievement in competitive bodybuilding is winning the mr olympia on the day that you are crowned as mr olympia that just for a moment is just a title it doesn't have real essence to it the next couple of days you have to get back to the real work you have to get back to the gym and if you love the gym even if you are at that level you're gonna still get back into the gym and train so it comes down to the essence of the thing which is doing the work you love to do, getting up every day, doing the work you love to do, whether that is in bodybuilding or in some other other field, other crafts. What matters is, is doing the work you love to do and then regardless of where you end up, it doesn't really matter, okay? So I was going to say this, keep this in mind. The point is don't work in vain always work from a place of love love for the craft love for what you do love for service for all to others and this game is really is, is this is this another form of show business this what bodybuilding at its essence is the show business same thing with any other sports okay even in like let's say UFC is this all for show? Is this these fighters? They all they they're not really they're not really. If you look at the essence of it, they really colleagues. They're working together to put on a show for their audiences. That's all they're doing. And in and there is no in in UFC. There's no really winner or losers. They're both getting it in the, in the cage. They put on a show. And then they get paid for it. Okay? And that's what it comes down to is just is just um, being a good being a good fighter, loving your craft, loving what you do, and putting on a great show for the audience that watch you. And that's what it's all about. That's what everything is about. Everything is about serving others. That's what it's all about. So whatever you do, the point I'm trying to make is work in love not in vain and at the end of the day it comes down to serving others through either entertainment which this is or some other form so i'm going to see you in the gym so i just arrived at the gym right here i'm going to head inside
and then I'm going to show you what's up. So I see you when I get inside. So guys, here we are. It's another day at the office right here. This is where you're going to be putting in work. So I've been coming to this gym since I started bodybuilding. So around by now, I think it's around 10 years that I've been coming to this gym. So it's like I said in the previous video, this gym has everything you need for a, to build a proper physique. So I'm going to head inside and show you guys what's up. So guys, another day at the office right here. Very clear. So here we are. As you can see, right there. So guys, this is this is something I just recently start doing. Uh, where I track, as you can see, the workouts and how much reps, how much weight I can do. And then what, basically, so the principle is, is this, the, strong, the stronger muscle is a bigger muscle. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracking everything. As I get stronger, basically, uh, the muscle it will grow the muscle tissue will grow so this is something that the coach told me to do this is something I'm doing and then I'm gonna be doing this all the way through the the whole bulking season and then see how that works out for me all right so First exercise, lying hamstring curls, two sets. Basically, today, on the other exercise, I did just three sets of warm-up, but on this one, I'm going to do the workout, the workout set on this exercise instead of the other one. So, I'm going to do two sets. The first set is going to be a heavy set. It's going to be between five to nine reps and then the next set I'm gonna drop the weight do between 10 to 15 reps and I'm gonna basically try to control the weight all the way throughout and especially when I squeeze it I want to control the negatives and then and like that basically by the way you move the weight, you're saying 
how I want to build the muscle. How, by the way you stimulate the muscle. It's how you build the muscle. So, I did it on this set, I did one heavy set and right after that I dropped it, did another, I think it was like 6-7 reps and then 
right now on each exercise the program is just to do two sets so I'm doing two sets on each exercise if I if I feel the exercise if it feels good sometime I'm gonna do one more set on it because why not So exercise two, it would have been hack squat, but hack squat is taken, so I have to do one legged leg press. I'm gonna do this one first and then go to the hack squat. So on this, I'm gonna do, again, two sets. The first set is gonna be a heavy set between five to 10 reps. And then, then I'm gonna drop the drop the weight and do 10 to 15. So because this is my this, this is my second exercise, I'm I'm gonna do around two sets of warm-up set to get the quad to get the quads warm up, I did hamstrings. I'm gonna do this to warm up the quads. So let me just check. So yeah, I'm gonna do two warm up, and then I'm gonna do the walking set. Warm up set two. Eh. <laughs> 
So yesterday I've been coming back after like two three weeks off so I'm not gonna push it as heavy as I can because because once you take a, a quiet once you take over one week off to around two or three weeks when you come back uh, you kind of your muscle don't feel ready yet. you have to give it at least one week to get back on the rhythm of things so right now even on this weight which is three plates 20 kg plates each side 45 pound doesn't feel I'm struggling to do it so I'm not gonna go heavier than that because I don't want to avoid injuries so this is the last set I'm gonna do 10 to 15 and then go to hack squat That's done for this exercise. Alright, we are exercise number two. Hack squat again on this. I'm gonna do two sets. One heavy, so you have five to nine, and then drop the weight, and then do 10 to 15. And then I'm gonna do one warm up set, and then two set that I can as workout.
Okay, now this. I want to control the negative. And then. And then. Do around 60% explosive on the positive. And you want to make sure you want to pick a weight where you can do the full movement and not cheat. Proper form and control the way you live. I said that before in the previous video, episode one. So you can. I said once you do the proper form and full movement and controlling the weight all the way throughout, the amount of weight you lift drops by around 40 to 50 percent. So, this weight, which I've got two plates each side, it got, it got pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna go up. I'll probably just keep it at this weight. My strength, the muscle don't feel like, doesn't feel they are they there at full capacity, and this happens when you take time off around one or two weeks off what? Hey. <laughs> 
All right, guys, exercise number four. I'm gonna do three sets on this one without weight, and then as I go, increase the weight by 10 and then 20. And then I'm gonna do one more exercise after this, and then we're done.
This is gonna be the last exercise. So on this, right now, the energy is gonna be low. So gonna push through this to three sets, and this one's gonna be is gonna be 21. So it's gonna be seven reps with the toes. Are gonna be facing inwards and then seven reps the toes gonna to be facing outward and then seven reps the toes gonna to be facing straight so it's gonna be seven reps on each so it's gonna be 21 three sets in total and then after this it's we are done the way actually I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one, one warm up set, and then I'm gonna go into the workout set because I'm gonna see what I can do before I go into the workout set. So this felt this felt easy so I'm gonna go probably I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna just go into 79 kilos Guys, this drink, it's BCAA and EAA. 
soon I'm going to be adding some core powder to, to be able to push through the water and then as the so as you as you're training the the glycogen storage runs out so you're trying to add some carb drink uh, carb powder into the drink so so as you're pushing as we going for the workout we're gonna just sip on that just replenish the glycogen storage and then what that allows is we can keep the intensity going cause more muscle damage and then throughout the uh, as the days goes by you're gonna get better muscle growth so you keep restoring the storage level so you can keep the intensity up this is the science behind it so right now that's not on there but later on I'm gonna be adding that I'm gonna be probably adding it from next in the next couple of in the next eight days or so where I feel like I can push the intensity to the level that I want and then I'm gonna add the weight add the, the carb drink all right so work at set one Thank you. 
Last. Hold. Cool. Last. Last. So guys, that was about it for this workout, we just wrapped up, I just came outside, about to go have my meal, the post-workout meal, I'm having the shake right now, it's around 40 grams of uh, ISO whey, so I'm going to have this, then I'm going to go and have some post-workout carb uh, with this, and then 45 minutes later, I'm going to have meal number uh, free and today workout like I said after after coming around like uh, after around four around around 21 days is since been since I've been off after after being off for this long it took it the workout it wasn't as my I could feel the muscle not being as active as they used to be like uh, uh, you feel the muscle like cramping up between between during the set so you can't lift the amount of weight you want to lift so after 21 days this was second day back so i'm gonna sl start slowly slowly increasing the weight and then uh, and then after around two weeks we're gonna go into the full-on prep full-on uh, off season trying to pack on size so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you soon